changes takes place around us. Now, you must have noticed that there are some changes which can be turned back and further there are some other changes which cannot be turned back. So these have been categorized into two changes. It can be reversible or irreversible, right? So what are reversible changes? Reversible changes means changes that can be turned back. Changes that change that can be turned back are called reversible changes. Next, irreversible changes that cannot be turned back that cannot be turned back, right? They are called irreversible changes, right? Now you must be, there must be something going in your mind that ma'am, what kind of changes are there? Can you give some examples? Those are reversible and the irreversible. Yes, we are having a number of examples related to our daily life. For example, Suppose I'm having this rubber band, okay, and I'm just going to stretch this rubber band. What will happen? After stretching, when I release the rubber band, it will come back to its original shape, right? That means this change can be turned back. This change can be turned back. So that is called reversible change, right? So what are the examples of reversible change? First, I have told you, Stretching of rubber band, right? The next is, suppose I'm having this balloon, right? And I'm just inflating the balloon by feeling the air inside. What will I do? If in this way, I'll inflate the balloon by feeling the air and what will happen when I release it, its mouth? You can see that this balloon again comes back to its original shape as it was before filling in the air, right? So that means this inflation of balloon is also an example of reversible change, right? What we will say? Inflating a balloon is also an example of reversible change. Now you must have noticed in your home, when you kept the water in the freezer, it changes into ice. And when you kept the ice out of the freezer, it again changes back to its original, that is water, liquid water, right? So that means water after freezing. Right? After freezing it changes into ice. Ice after melting changes back into water. Right? In the same manner, when water it is heated. When water is heated, it changes into vapors. Right? And when these vapors are condensed, are cooled. Okay? So when these vapors are condensed, Again, they change back into water droplets. Right? So that means the state can be changed of, for water. The state can be changed from water to ice after freezing. Ice after melting changes back into water. In the same manner, water after heating changes into vapor. Vapor when get condensed changes back into water droplets. So what does it mean? That means the third point is state change of state of water. Changes change of state of water is an example of change of state of water is an example of reversible change. Right? So you are having various changes which 
can be turned back into its original shape. Now, there are some other changes which cannot be turned back. What are those examples? Suppose here I am having this paper, right? Or I am having this balloon firstly. Let me explain this example. I am having this balloon. When I burst the balloon, okay? Wow, that means what happened? The balloon gets burst, right? It gets explored with the help of this lighter. I have just exploded the balloon. Now, can I change it back into its original shape? Can I change it back? No, it's already burst. It's totally changed, okay? Some part of it might have got burned, right? Some have been uh, just got into pieces. So that means this is an example of irreversible change. The change that cannot be turned back. Firstly, we will say bursting of balloon. Bursting of balloon is an example of irreversible change. Right students? Now the next you can see I am having some vegetables here, some cucumber I am having, right? So salad, this salad I have cut into various pieces, okay? This is the salad which I have cut, I mean cucumber, which I have cut into separate pieces. Now can I join all these pieces to form the same cucumber again? No, it cannot be joined. So that means what kind of change it is? Can it be turned back? No, it cannot be turned back. That means if the change cannot be turned back, it is an example of irreversible changes, right? So what would we say second? Cutting of vegetables or fruits, right? This is an example of irreversible change. Now the third, suppose your mother cooks in the kitchen, whatever she is cooking, can you change back into the raw material? No, that's not possible. So we will say that cooking of food is also an example of irreversible change. Now next, burning. Burning of wood or paper. This is an example of irreversible change. How? Suppose I am having this paper here, okay, I am having this paper and I am just uh, taking a small piece of this paper which I am going to burn, right, I am just burning this paper. Now you will see what, what will happen to this paper, it is getting burned, it is getting changed. The original substance, that is the paper, has been changed into ash. You can see, can you change it back into the same paper as it was before? No, my dear students, you cannot change. So that means what's happening? You have changed the paper into ash after burning, which you cannot turn back. When you cannot turn back into its original shape or original matter, right, that is called as a irreversible change. So in the same happens when I burn the wood, it changes into ash, which cannot be turned back, right. So that is also an example of irreversible change. So that means burning of wood or paper, this is also an example of irreversible change. Okay students? Now, uh, this is all about reversible and irreversible. I have given you various examples. Uh, let me ask you one more. Suppose cooking of egg. Okay, you have cooked the egg. Now, can it be changed back into the original egg now? Okay, once it has been cooked, that means all its properties have been changed. Some new substance have been formed. So, that is an example of irreversible change. Right? Now the next is 
physical and chemical change physical and chemical change firstly i have discussed with you the categories of the categories of uh, this reversible and irreversible change the next things we are going to discuss the physical and chemical change now there are some differences between physical and chemical change physical change means a change in which no new substances form right so what is the very first thing in physical change no new substance is formed right why in case of chemical yes new substance is formed right new substance is formed now next second i'll write all the examples here again so that you may not get confused i'm just scrubbing it all these changes although these can be combined into the categories of physical and chemical changes as well but it's better to write it again to avoid your confusion i'll write it again okay firstly i'm just explaining what is physical what is chemical change and what is the difference between right so no new substances formed that means changes take place this physical change takes place only in shape size or state right third well i'll give you some examples as well first let me make it clear for example i have stretched this rubber i am increasing its size i am increasing its size is there any new substance is getting formed while stretching no no new substance is formed it is just size is increasing if there is change in physical property only physical property means shape size or state that means physical properties are getting changed if its size is getting changed no new substance is formed that means stretching of rubber band is a physical change clear so what will i write here examples stretching of rubber band right the next if i tear some paper okay i tear it to many pieces i tear it to many pieces properties changed is there any new substance getting formed no no new substance is getting formed it's the change in size only that the whole big paper has been teared into various pieces so what we will say has been torn into various pieces so what we will say uh, that just um, what i have done i have torn the paper into various pieces okay so i will write tearing of paper into various pieces this is also an example of physical change because no new substance is getting formed it's only the size is getting changed right same if i inflate the balloon what will happen its size will increase okay but the substance will remain same so that means inflating a balloon is also an example of can physical change but students when i will uh when i will burn the paper okay burning of paper although it was reversible change right irreversible sorry although it was irreversible because some new substance have been formed so we will not consider burning of paper in physical change as the new substance have been formed so we will consider it in chemical change right so what is a chemical change new substance is formed second composition gets changed that means new substance will have different properties right different properties than the original 
functional body than the original one. Right? For example, this ash is having different properties as compared to the paper. Right? It is now has been changed into various like powdery form. Okay, if I smash this ash. It is in powdery form I have get, got it. So the properties have been changed. Right. So that means it is a chemical change. So what we will say in chemical change examples. Cooking. Burning. Okay. And last is bursting. Uh, not bursting. We will not consider it in chemical change. Right. Because that has been burst for me. What I will say that there are some examples. For example, cooking and burning of paper. Right? Burning of paper or burning of wood or cooking of any vegetable or something, fruits, etc. And if I just uh, cut the vegetables or fruits into many pieces, then cutting of fruits and vegetables is a chemical or physical change. It is a physical change because no new substances form. Substance is still the same. The properties are still the same of cucumber only. Okay. So that means cutting or cutting of fruits or vegetables. Cutting of fruits, vegetables. It's also a physical change. Right. So cooking burning okay burning of wood or paper or cooking of vegetables or egg or etc whatever your mom uh, used to cook in the kitchen that is all related to the chemical change okay students so here our topic is finished reversible and irreversible changes physical and chemical changes and the difference between Tomorrow, the next time, I'll discuss about the extract, expansion and contraction, right? Contraction. Till the time, just keep on revising the same and if any problem, just ask me in WhatsApp. Thank you. Have a nice day.